Hi there and welcome to the first episode of This Guy Edits where this guy edits. You're seeing my timeline right here and I'm starting a completely new project and to give you a little bit of an idea what's going to happen is I am currently editing a feature directed by Mark Weber and he is shooting right now in Pennsylvania. I'm here in Los Angeles and I'm going to be cutting the film while he's shooting it and then when he's done we're going to do some more editing and it's going to take several months and i thought why not do a little webcast three times a week maybe more maybe less we'll see how it goes where i show the process of editing so it'll be about the movie it'll be about performances it'll be about storytelling it'll be about the specific software that we're using and just generally tips and tricks on editing why we're doing this why are people watching gamers play computer games uh, because it's fun and we're going to do the same thing so today is the first day that i'm starting on this movie i actually haven't loaded in the footage yet that's why you see this software davinci resolve be completely empty but i'm going to show you now the package that i got today uh, through fedex and i'm going to open up the footage and i'm going to load it into the system Here it is. So the movie is called Flesh and Blood and it's the third time that I'm working with Mark Webber. We did two other movies before this one. Uh, the first one is called The End of Love and it was in the Sundance Film Festival a couple of years ago. And then the second one just came out and it's called The Ever After. And this is Flesh and Blood. And I got two drives today. And that is, I think, the first two or three days that they shot in, uh, again, it's in Pennsylvania. So, actually it says day five here, shuttle drive. And what do we got here? Shooting days one, two, three. There we go. I'm going to start off with one. All right, so here is that shuttle drive. Day one, two, and three. And we have the actual raw media from the camera. We're shooting in a 4K resolution. And these are actual image sequence of the footage. So I still need to convert that. And then let's see how big it is. Day one is 84 gigabytes, it's not too bad. Day two is 1.17 terabytes, so that is already a pretty big day um, that they shot. And then the next day we have 600 gigabytes. That's a medium day, so a short day or a long day and a medium day. Um, now my drive came up here, so I'm going to go ahead and copy the dailies over. and this might take a while so i'll come back once the copying is done and then we'll do the next step so hello i'm back i now currently have it in the system you can see it here right now all the shots from all the different days day one day two day three and there's actually also a day five i'm missing day four right now and what i'm doing right now is i brought in the full resolution the 4k resolution of the camera and that is a very intense file and i'm currently optimizing them which means i'm creating a smaller file version that i will actually use to edit the movie uh, i won't get too much into the detail but just to give you an idea where we are right now if i click any of these files i can actually play them and you can see that on the other monitor. Let me just switch over. This is the right side of my two monitors. I have two different monitors that I'm using for editing. I can show you this real quick. I have this guy and then I have that guy. This is uh, one of the takes. This is Mark's brother. And why don't we just listen to it for a little bit. You say so. I gotta get ready for school. You gonna be okay here? 
Yeah, am I in your way? No, I think you're fine. Right. Trying to have a good day. Okay. Looks very pretty. I like uh, um, the sidelight here. And Mark's brother, he looks amazing. The thing about Mark's movie is that uh, all the participants, all the actors are not real actors. So that's part of his style is that he's actually uh, using real people and he's creating a scenario that's somewhat related to what they're going through. And then for himself, he creates a character that has some form of a dramatic arc. It really makes for interesting performances, interesting moments, um, the way that he directs and the way that he creates these situations. So what I'm going to do now is I have all these takes here, different performances, and I still need to optimize them more. This is Mark, by the way. Let's take a quick look here. Yeah. Last time I met you. You say so? Am I So this is the other angle of that same scene. So we're going to likely be cutting back and forth between his brother and Mark and create a scene. But uh, it's a little bit early for that. Right now what I'm doing is I'm making sure that all the media works. It plays fine, which this does. If there's any quality problems, if there's any flickering, any technical issues, then I would report that back so that they can make adjustments in the field as they're still shooting. The next step after that is I'm going to start selecting for these scenes. But that's for another day. So this is the first episode. A um, little bit of a just getting adjusted and as, as I keep on doing these it'll get more comfortable. It's gonna look prettier. I'm about to get a different kind of camera installed here. I'm waiting for on a cable. Also set up some lights now. You can actually see my face a little bit better. By the end of the day, you're going to see um, sort of the invisible art of editing, how it's all coming together in post-production. And also you'll learn a little bit about the movie. I'm going to take these drives with the dailies and I'm going to send them back now that I copied over the files onto my drive. So they're going back to Pennsylvania and I think on Tuesday I will get the next batch of footage. So this goes back. On the next episode, we're going to go into selecting really choosing performances based on strength of moments, uh, strength of good acting. And this is probably one of the most important uh, steps in the editing is actually the selecting, but we'll get into that. Thanks for watching. There'll be another episode soon. If you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Have a great day.